Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Big John from Big John's Bully House. I know a lot of people have been asking for updated videos um, of the puppies from the stories and the pictures I've been posting on YouTube and everything. Um, so today is the three week old update. I figured give it a little more time, let the puppies develop a little more before um, we showed them again. That way, you guys see how much they've grown and how much they've developed in the last two weeks. Um, let's see if I can't turn the turn this real quick and let you guys really see everybody. This boy here, I mean, as you can see, he's got, that boy's got a noggin on him. Um, what my partner pointed out, and another reason I wanted to give a little more time before we got a video, is the white boy here now is starting to get champagne ticking. Um, as you can see, his ears are champagne now. He's got champagne ticking on his back. He's got champagne ticking going down his legs, as well as champagne ticking on his face. Um, we were really excited about that for the simple fact, man, it's been a very, very, very long time since we've seen a ticked up puppy or a ticked up dog. So, uh, you know, we we're real happy about that. But he will be available, um, everybody that's asking. You know what's going to be available and what's not like i said before there are going to be three males for sure that are available and he's one of the males and then which one um the other male this one as well is getting the champagne ticking throughout the white and that's a male too mm -hmm. this is the other male champagne ticking on the head on the face gloves on the paws as well, champagne ticking. And then, where's the big boy at? Right there, right there walking. And then this big boy, as you can see, I mean. It's just on his paws. He's got a monster, monster top skull. Um, eyes are all open. Go ahead, turn to the side a little bit. Nice little short muzzle. As you can see, the bone on these pups already. That's my thumb next to the three week old puppy. So, those are going to be the three males that are going to be available. Um, this boy here, the white boy, and the one in the back here. As for females, we haven't picked our female yet, um, so we, we don't know which one's staying and which ones um, will be up available. Again, this is, <coughs> excuse me, this is a three times Hooch, five times Dax breeding. Um, if you do not know who Hooch is, go to my videos, check him out. He's actually the great grandfather to these puppies. Both. And then, um, as well as 815 Bully Camp's Nasty Boy is the grandfather to these puppies. It was Chico bred back to his grandmother. So there is an outcross in there. You know, I know when people hear, you know, two times and three times, you know, everyone gets a little, gets a little worried, man. And, you know, that's, that's understandable, especially, you know, when you start to hear that heavy line breeding and in breeding but as long as you got an outcross and that's the most important thing is to have an outcross before you bring it back or if you bring it back first make sure you have an outcross afterwards um and that's our thing now that's the whole reason we're taking our time on choosing our female although it is a three times hooch breeding it's there is outcrosses in there so if we decide to take it to anything else in the yard um, the outcross is there. Go ahead and stand up a little bit so you guys can see the actual overall size of the puppies instead of being all up close on them.
If you guys have not seen the video of Chico, which is the father to these uh, to this litter here, make sure you check out the video with Chico in it. Um, Chico times Remy. We got two videos up of him. These three here are the females. Right here, yep. The ones on the outside. Yeah. The two chocolates and the yeah. one. Shipping is going to be available, or if you'd like to pick your puppy up in person, when we start taking deposits, that's fine as well. Puppies are going to come up to date on shots, dewormings, ABKC papers in hand. Give you guys a little size comparison, 15 ounce coffee creamer. Three week old puppies. That's a female. And that's, yeah, that, that's a female. Um, so, give you guys a little size comparison, a little example. I mean, we're, we're expecting nothing but very extreme, compact, um, American bullies, man, out of this litter. So, like I've stated numerous times, each litter that we do, we strive and push to make sure our previous litters um, are outdone by our future litters. We don't want to go backwards. We don't want to, okay, you know, our last litter is not as good as, you know, this one. Every time we do a breeding, we make sure we progress and move forward. And every time we have a puppy and we, you know, choose a puppy, we want to make sure the ones we're keeping are phenomenal. Um, and that's not saying that the ones we're selling aren't. Obviously, as you can see, first pick male, second pick male, third pick male are all going to be available. Second and third pick female are also going to be available. You know, um, so with that being said, it's not that we're trying to always keep the best puppy. We're keeping the best puppy that's fit for our program and what we want. Me personally, like I've explained to my partner... If this would have been my litter, I probably wouldn't have sold anything. And that's just me being honest. And that's just because everything in this litter, I love. I love the body structure. I love the bone. I love the top skull. I love the muzzles. I love everything about them. Um, and that's the hard thing is, is making the choice of what's going to stay and what's going to be available Again, me personally, I would like to see the whole litter stay here. But it's you, you can't always do that. So with that being said, we're going to pick one female to keep back. And then everything else will be available. As soon as we start taking deposits, we will upload a video letting you guys know when we are taking deposits. I know I've had a thousand phone calls and a thousand text messages about what's available. I know I've had a bunch of people comment on the videos um, of what's available and what the prices are going to be. And like I've told everybody, it's literally too hard for me to call everybody back and respond to text messages. That's why I always tell everybody to call me. But the best way to get you a puppy is to make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And when you hit the bell, make sure you... Um, you're updated on all videos that we upload. That way, if you're wanting a puppy off of this litter, you have first dibs, I guess. As soon as you hear that notification bell go off and you see, hey, man, we're taking deposits, make sure you're in on it. Because nothing can be held and nothing can be promised to anybody that does not have a deposit now. Again, I want to give a huge shout out to all the subscribers, new and old, all the likes, shares, comments, and followers.
we appreciate all the love, the support that we get. Um, man, it's just, it, it's been a blessing here. So hopefully, you know, there's five lucky people out here that are going to get five really nice <coughs> monster American bullies in foundation. Especially that white boy. Yeah, that white boy is going to be something nice, man. That is yeah, why. And that one with the markings on Chico. I would would like to see the whole litter stay, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, as always, man, take care. God bless and stay safe. If you have any questions, you can reach me at 815-632-9073. If you watch this video all the way through, leave Chico's timers Remy in the comments. Again, thank you guys.